Hi guys, welcome to Online. This is Dr. Ashok, consultant clinical microbiologist. So today we are going to deal with uh, one of the most uh, commonest organisms which we are going to come across in the daily clinical practice. And we have the Burkholderia pseudomalai, which is going to be a gram-negative uh, bacilli, which is going to appear as a uh, safety pin appearance. And it's going to cause an infection and it's going to cause a variety of infection ranging from pneumonia and we have the sepsis and we also have urinary tract infection, wound infection. So this particular organism can cause wide range of infection. And another thing is that the particular organism can also grow as lab contaminant. So while reporting, like we should make sure like it is not going to be an pathogen or lab contaminant. So it's going to be very important because the treatment is going to be totally different for Burkholderia pseudomalai. So let us go into the topic now. So what is miliidosis? So it is going to be a particular infection caused by the particular organism called as Burkholderia pseudomalai and the particular organism is going to be denoted as a vietnam time bomb and it has the longest incubation period which can range from two days to many years so after going inside the particular organism can stay inside alive for even one to one and a half years and after that it can cause incubation period so it's going to be a long incubation period And the virulence factors are polysaccharide capsule and there is going to be lipopolysaccharide and we have the toxin production, enzyme production and we have the various protein like hemolysin and we have the lipases and also the proteases and most of the time the particular hemolysin will not be prominent in the blood agar. So the particular organism will grow on blood agar but the particular hemolysin will not be well demonstrable in case of Burkholderia pseudomalai. So with this like we are moving on to the appearance of the particular organism. So it is going to be a gram negative bacilli with bipolar staining so it is going to appear as safety pin appearance so if you are able to see you will be able to see the particular bacilli and you will be able to see the particular safety pin like appearance that is why like, i have drawn this particular image so it's going to be a safety pin appearance and again like you will be able to see the particular appearance of this particular organism so here like there's going to be the organism and there's going to be the particular bipolar staining so which is going to give the appearance of a safety pin